If anyone has any suggestions as to how an individual can make a positive difference during these times, I'm all ears. It kills me to see this happen here at home and I want to help, but I don't know how. From one neighbor to another, I just hope everyone stays safe. And it's a white person and they said, I want to listen. So what do white people have to listen to? <laughs> what does this white guy need to hear? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just being funny, that's all. Because they're like, I want to help. I want to I want to help, but I don't know what to do. Like if you if you if you have a sense of humanity, you know what to do. It's simple. You know, go down your list of friends. That'll tell you who you are. Tell her, say, you know, who is your list of friends? Are all your friends white? Well, that says why you don't know what to do. You know, find out. Reach out to a black person who you know. Or maybe, you know, you don't know. And let them know. Let's see if you can overcome your own fears. Because it ain't going to come to you what to do. I'm not I'm black. I'm going to tell you what to do. You got to know for a sense of humanity. I, I know what I can do as a black person with a white person because I'm not fearful. I can say, hey, you know what I mean? Are you, are you with me or are you not? And if you are, then you'll come to this protest. It's simple. You can go to a black person and say, you know what? I agree with you and I'm standing with you. Simple as that. You ain't got to find some ordinary thing. You ain't got to cook no hot dogs. You ain't got to do all of that. Mm -hmm. All you got to do is say, you know what? I've never reached out to a black person before. And I live two doors or across the street from somewhere. See if you could get on your shaky, scary legs and walk to that neighborhood and say to someone, I'm with you. Hold the sign, say Black Lives Matter. I am with you. You'd be surprised what black folk would do. They will embrace you. They will embrace you. And your fear might be like this, but you know what? Once you fear, you fear itself. You know how many times I, I have been up against white people and police officers and I don't have no fear? I was like, you know, look, motherfucker, kill me. You know, I tell you, tell them to their face, kill me, motherfucker. Because that's what the fuck you want to do. You tell them, you kill me. And that, that, that's, that takes them back. You don't be nice. You don't be nice to say, uh, you know, uh, what did I do, officer? You say, I hope you ain't here to kill me. That's what you say. I hope you're not here to kill me. Then take, take, take some back. Like, well, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not here to kill you. You know, but the moment you start, you know, being aggressive towards them, you know, I just dismiss all of it. I say, I know you're not here to kill me. What can they say there? So with her, she needs to, 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 to tap into her, her, her humanity. I mean, if she has humanity, she, she'll know. I can hear her saying, you know, I don't know what to do. But there is something you can do. And the first thing is to look on your list of friends. And then support them. And hear them. Hear what they're saying. Just don't be friends with that old lady who says she don't think she's she's not going to help. She's not going to help you. <laughs> she's not going to help you. 